good afternoon. This is going to be the Capricorn reading. Um, I was kind of waiting around. Uh, I took a nap earlier because I thought, well, I want to go ahead and recharge my battery a little bit um, before I'm able to give you the best possible reading. I have um, added some extra readings to um, what I do now. Yesterday, I made my first um, past lives reading. I was um, divinely guided to do it. I wasn't even sure how um, how I was going to do it um, because I had never really seen a live um, tarot um, past life reading before, but I really liked the way that it turned out, so do check it out. And I'm going to be doing that every week in addition to my All Signs reading and my Twin Flame Divine Partnership reading. And I'm doing half the signs one week and the other half the other week. Um, I've been paying more attention and putting more time and energy into my channel because this is my sole purpose, uh, my sole mission, and this is my baby. And this is really what I want to grow right now. And whatever you focus your energy on will grow. And with me understanding um, how energy works, I really set my intention um, that this channel be my main focus. And, you know, my, my smell goods business where I make incense and soaps and oils and stuff. I want that to kind of be complimentary. And to where eventually I can offer those things to, like, my readers too. Right now I just do it locally. I'm a street vendor. But I did want to say that the law of attraction is always working. Um, whether or not you focus on it or you... Um, are consciously aware of it the law of attraction is always working and sometimes we manifest out of default sometimes um, you know our fears will manifest into things that we don't want so it's really my goal um, with this channel to teach people how to manifest you know I was thinking you know today I was like well man am I like the right person to teach this yes I am <laughs> because I have manifested all kinds of things in my life and all you know not all of it has been things that I want but since um, I'm more conscious and I am manifesting from a place of um, what's the word for it where I'm doing it Like I said, consciously, I'm aware of what I'm doing now. Um, I'm actually manifesting higher vibrational things into my life. And so that is my purpose with this channel. And so with that being said, I know that's a little bit of a public service announcement. Oh, but also I want to say <laughs> that I'm doing my um, paid readings, my personal paid readings different now. They are... Um, I don't know why I can't think of words today interactive you know we communicate through the whole time via video chat and it's forty dollars for about a 30 35 minute session and you can ask questions I can get a sense of your energy and we can really communicate so you can do that through PayPal or cash app or if you just want to make an energy donation once again you can do so and I'll put um, the information in the description of the video so the first card that I have is the Seven of Cups. Now the general overall energy that I'm getting from um, this reading today are that you have a lot of options available to you right now. You have lots of things that have been coming up. And I have said this before Capricorn that you really do manifest a lot of things. I mean you uh, people want to be you because you make things look so easy and so you have a lot of opportunities that you're always manifesting anyway you know you're the person that people come to if they have a business opportunity because they know that you are going to run with it and you're gonna make it happen um, you're just an overall round around um, well-rounded entrepreneur go-getter but with this card here the seven of cups what I'm really sensing with this is that you've done a lot of self-actualization lately. Really getting to know yourself. And it seems like over the past week, the theme has been fears. 
And I know I have been dealing with a lot of fears that have been coming up. Um, and fears will block your abundance because fears are all about doubts and insecurities. So I feel like all these rabbits that are popping up are different things that are popping up for you to deal with. And you're actually learning what makes you tick. In that whole self-sabotaging um, energy that you've been in the past has been fear-based. Um, those are all your doubts and insecurities coming up and it reflects on how you feel about yourself. And so with this being said, I feel like every time one of these bunnies pop up, it's something for you to look at. And I feel like you've been doing that because to clarify that card, we have the dragonfly emergence. And the dragonfly is all about self-discovery. It's all about really um, connecting to yourself on a soul level and really figuring out what makes you tick. And so this emergence, I feel like, goes along with those bunnies popping up. And because, like I said, um, there's a lot coming up right now for you to look at. And as we start connecting more to our core and who we are as a soul, we start shedding layers like an onion. And we get closer and closer to that core vibration. And as we do that, the ego, the ego can be quite useful. The ego shows us things. I know um, I've been more and more connected to my soul. I, I mean, I'm becoming my soul. But even then, my ego will still pop up to show me different fears. And the thing that I've learned about fears is that fear-based energy is like a big blob. And that blob grows the more we focus on it. So do definitely start starving your fears out as they come up. Stop focusing on them. Stop feeding them. Stop talking about them. I know I had several fears come up that I had to literally, I had to focus, I had to shift my focus. And I had to stop talking about them because I realized I was feeding them. And fears are nothing but illusions anyway. But you are getting closer into your soul vibration as you face these things. We have the tower card. So you have had a tower moment. If you have not had a tower moment, you will. And like I said, the ego is very, very useful at showing us things. At showing... Um, what we need to work on. I know I had seen something, a couple of things on Facebook over the past couple days where people were complaining about toxic people. And I, I had commented on both that, you know, really once you have really good boundaries and you start putting yourself first, that is key to dealing with so-called toxic people. Second of all, people are a perfect mirror and they're showing you where your energy is at. So instead of judging the situation as being bad or this person is toxic or they're no good, look at the mirror they're holding up because these people are soul family and that is what they're there for. So do forgive them quickly. I mean, it's all right if you want to cut people out of your life because I do it all the time um, because that's what this is all about. It's all about having boundaries and putting yourself first. Um, but the key here is not judging the situations that come up. Humans want to label everything and they want to, um, the soul doesn't even know terms like empath or narcissist. These are terms that human beings came up with. And there's a lot of victim mentality around those. I had quit all of my spiritual groups. Once I hit the 5D, and it was really hard for me to be in these groups because I would read stuff and I would be like, man, and, and a lot of it was from administrators of the groups. And I'm like, this shit is so off um, from being truthful. And there's no judgment because we all have our own, own level of consciousness, but I just couldn't hear it anymore. 
And you know, as far as the terminology goes, like I said, the soul has no language. So souls don't even know words. And there's a lot of victim mentality around the whole empath narcissist um, relationship that you see floating around on the web. People who are empaths are just more spiritually awakened and enlightened and more aware of their energy than other people. So do try to stay away from terminology. That is the message that I'm getting with this because the tower is all about clarity. So I do feel like a moment's came down or where, you know, this tower has came down and maybe you were able to see a person or a situation in a different light. But don't judge that because like I said, all of these situations we all planned with our soul kin before we even incarnated here. And so if you look at it like that, everyone had their own part to play, then it's being divinely guided and it's all perfect, so don't judge it. Take away from it what you need to. We have the standstill card. <clears throat> so I do feel like this tower moment had to happen because your energy has stagnated in a certain area. You've been on a standstill. Maybe you, and I, I believe that this has been a theme for you as well, Capricorn, about possibly being at a dead-end job, a dead-end relationship, in which you feel like you're not growing. And maybe that's that tower moment that came down, that you were like, man, I just can't do this anymore. I need to free myself. And like I said, I never suggest that people walk away from marriages. I do suggest that you find a way to free yourself because it should always be partnership over ownership. And if you're feeling real restricted, I'm a free spirit. And if you restrict my freedom, I'm out of there. I am out of there. I have to have a relationship in which I can grow and trust that. And I don't want to say I'm going to do the right thing because that's judging and labeling and who's to say what the right thing is. But just trust me. And don't put any rules or stipulations or conditions on me because that's not being loving. <clears throat> There's no such thing as unconditional and conditional love. There's only love which is unconditional and there's everything else which is fear-based. And so do make sure <clears throat> that your relationship allows you to grow and that you're not at a standstill and you're not stagnant because the soul will not like that. The soul will find a way to make itself free. And if you're doing this to somebody else, stop it. Just stop. It's soul crushing. It really is when people limit your freedom and they do that out of fears. It's a fear-based energy. And it's, um, it's this energy here of all these fears popping up. I know I have been faced lately with a lot of fears, but not just that, but I noticed that a lot of these fears that I have involve the unknown, involve the surprise element. I want to know everything. I want to be able to control it. I don't want things to just pop up or pop out at me. I don't want to be blindsided. And basically, um, when I was with my spirit guide today, he told me this and he said, be sure and share this in your Capricorn video. My spirit guide told me this. He said that when you try to control everything and understand control is an illusion, you block your blessings and your abundance because you will not allow the universe to work its magic. If you're so worried about being blindsided and needing to know everything before it happens, then the universe is just going to be like, okay, well, we can just give them little tidbits then because they're not ready for the whole thing. And that message came <clears throat> directly from my spirit guide when I was at the park today, directly. He said, tell that in your Capricorn video. And I have other messages he told me to tell too. And I'm trying to wait till the moment's right and I'm going to bring them up. And they're straight from Dr. George, by the way. We have the two of discs. 
And this is all about juggling. So what I feel like, I feel like you are making a lot of sacrifices and you're not putting yourself first. You're juggling all of this and this is everybody else's happiness. And eventually you're not going to be able to keep up with that. You're going to drop those because you need to put yourself first. But it's like, <clears throat> I know I had a situation, I have talked about this before, but when I was a kid, my mom always told me, Tracy, all you care about is yourself. You're very self-centered. And I didn't understand that because I didn't even feel that way. But when I grew up and I became an adult, I thought, well, my mom always said I was self-centered and I put everybody, I put myself first and all I cared about was myself. So evidently that is bad. I should not do that. So I put everybody else ahead of myself and my own happiness last. I spent 20 years in a marriage where I was miserable. And I did that to keep the family together because I thought that's what they needed. And then when I finally walked away, my grown kids were mad at me and they said, well, we wished you would have done it sooner. And I'm like, okay. I mean, like, we're really angry with me about it. And so what that situation taught me was to always, always, always put yourself first. I know I had a conflict with one of my grown children the other day. And he said to me, he said, you're so selfish. All you care about is yourself. And I said, oh, no, you will not do that. Because you know what? I am the most important thing in my life right now. And nobody is going to guilt me or shame me for that. So I, it almost felt like a test. Because it came full circle. So that is the energy that I'm getting with this card. And that's the reason why I tell personal stories. Because I said, the soul has no language. The universe has no language. It's all energy. And it has to be translated into words. And that's how I read these cards. So that is the energy that I'm getting from this card. Were those stories that I told you. We have the angel of strength. And so basically what I'm getting with this is that you are being supported universally. So whatever it is that you decide to do, you will be supported. And don't feel bad for putting yourself first because you have lots of support. Beautiful. Um, <clears throat> other message that I got from Dr. George today and it was crazy because he is one of my spirit guides we've had many lives together many past lives he is he is a spirit guide now but he is my soul family and we've had many past lives if you have not checked out my past life video please do I just made the first one yesterday there's going to be a weekly one um, but I visit him at the cemetery, and the last time I was there, I said, he was a doctor, his name's Dr. George, I called him that when I was a little girl, in that particular timeline that we were together. I said, please show me yourself in physical form. So I went out there today, and there was a single robin that actually let me walk up to the tombstone, and just sat there, just perched there, didn't fly away, and I communicate energetically. <coughs> And I asked, I said, Dr. George, is that you? And I knew at once that it was. And I had told him, I said, I have always, I've always loved birds. Don't get me wrong, I've always loved birds. But I've always found a certain arrogance about birds. They seem arrogant. <laughs> and, I mean, I can't explain it. Arrogant isn't really the right word, but, um... They're just so unbothered by us. And I can't explain it. But basically what he told me was, he said, birds know that they are universally loved and supported. They are cared for by the universe. And they know their worth and they know their value. And they're not riddled with insecurities and fears like we are. Because they automatically know their value and their worth because they're universally cared for. And there's even a verse in the Bible, and I can't remember where it is, where it says, if God would, 
take care of the birds who don't store away for the winter or I can't remember how it goes or whatever um, and yet they're dressed in all this splendor and they basically have everything that they need I'm mean, they're dressed more I think it was uh, it's like they're dressed more um, better than King Solomon with all of his riches then how much more would the Creator care for us and that was what I had thought about when he said that. About that is the energy we need to be in. The energy of the birds. It was just so beautiful. And he said, be sure and tell that in your Capricorn video today. So you heard it here. This video is going to be a little lengthy because it's taken me a while to really translate the energy. We have the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is a very immature knight. He likes to move forward very quickly with love and um, emotions. And this, this is almost like a fickle energy. He moves forward without thinking. He's not really a calculated knight like the others are. The others really take their time. This one just kind of runs forward. And he's not quite ready yet. So the energy that I'm getting with this card is that there's more going on than what meets the eye. And that maybe you need to stand still for a minute. Maybe you need to take your time. <clears throat> because you still have some more to learn. So do definitely slow down. If you are in a situation where you have met somebody else and you are just really um, fixated and really um, infatuated with. Slow down to make sure that you don't form a codependent connection is the message that I'm getting. It's clarified by ancient ancestry, Egypt, and magical inheritance. So I believe that I've talked about this before, about the possibility of you having met your twin flame. And do check out my weekly twin flame videos. The reason why I say this is because there are two parts to your soul. The one that's in your human body and the other one is in someone else's human body. And we have soul recognition with that person. And not everybody is to the point yet that they are ready to meet their um, twin flame in physical form. But if you have, understand there is a certain magical element to it and you have had past lives together, possibly even this Egyptian, um, ancient Egyptian um, past life. I know several past lives came out in my past life reading that I had yesterday. And I feel like this is for somebody Somebody has had an Egyptian, ancient Egyptian um, past life, timeline. I call them timelines. So if you've ever been really drawn to um, ancient Egyptian culture, the writing, um, the, arch arch the artifacts, any of the symbols then it's quite possible that you've had a past life or past timeline. And that would involve your twin flame as well. And that would, would be your, your connection at first when you first met this person. Because that instantly activated that memory. And that was an aha moment. But the message that's coming through from Spirit is take your time take your time and work through these fears because other people are mirrors and they will reflect to you what your fears are so do make sure you know what's real and what's not real and fears are not real the only thing that's real is love because we have the moon card and the moon is all about illusions and these are those fears so do make sure you know what is real and what isn't real and basically anything that's going on in the physical realm, in the 3D realm, are all simulated experiences because your soul is ancient. 
and your soul is simulating these human experiences on this timeline that you're on right now. So do know that any type of fears or doubts or insecurities that come up are your conditioning in this particular lifetime, conditioning that you have taken on, that you need to strip away. So do recognize it. It's amazing. Amazing. We have the five of wands. The energy that you have to get to is the, the energy of being unbothered. And when all these things hit you at once, you have to be in a place of being unbothered by them because you recognize the illusions. And you can tell yourself, this is not real. This is just in my mind. These doubts and these fears and these insecurities are just in my mind. I'm going to be like the birds and I'm going to know my worth and know my value and know that I attract high vibrational situations into my life and release the victim mentality just because you've had shitty things happen before. Recognize it as your own energy and that you have aligned to these things and release it because it reflects on you. We have two cards of judgment, <laughs> two, which this is that whole balancing and the energy that I'm getting is that wanting to be free that possibly, like I said, you have been in a very restrictive relationship or partnership possibly for years. And maybe you've been blamed for a lot of things that aren't even your fault. But the universe is here to tell you that there's going to be a balancing of these things. And I feel like you fear that you're going to be the bad guy if you walk away. Because possibly this person has painted you in a bad way or maybe they've emotionally blackmailed you. But it's all right to walk away because there will be justice. This will all work itself out. It's all going to be balanced out. And this almost looks like a divorce. To me, that's the energy I'm getting here is a divorce. And I'm not advocating for divorce. It's just I'm calling it how I see it. I really feel very strongly this is a divorce. And it's all right. No judgment. There is going to be justice. Journey. You're about to embark on a new journey. I've been saying for a while I feel like you're embarking on um, a twin flame journey. I missed a whole card. I need to go back. I feel like you are embarking on a whole, um, whole new journey. This could possibly be a twin flame journey. Or maybe you're moving, relocating to a new spot. If you've been thinking about relocating, then this is your green light to go ahead and do that. I mean, this doesn't have to be a spiritual journey. I had missed this. This card clarifies that moon card. Connect with nature. You're rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors. This is how you're going to ground yourself. Spend some time meditating out in nature. If you do yoga, take a yoga mat. I know yesterday, I took the whole day off yesterday, and I said, it was the sun was shining here in Indiana for the first time. I know we've been hit with really, really bad weather. It's rained 40 days and 40 nights. Um, Memorial Day night, um, we got hit with like seven tornadoes in the area. One of them was an E2 and destroyed a whole small town. So yesterday with um, the sun shining, I decided I was just gonna you know, take a chair and sit outside and drink a beer and just really um, enjoy the day and just take some time off, take some time for you. You don't always have to be doing stuff. You don't always have to be working. And you don't always have to be around other people. Take a day and just unwind and spend the day with yourself, contemplating. Self-realization. All right, let me go ahead and read this postcard oracle card. It says, Dearest you, go the extra mile to achieve your dreams and putting in some overtime will reap great rewards. 
Now's the time for you to act, to stir up some energy, put those plans into action. There are so many windows of opportunity that open but close quickly when you don't take the risk and go for it. Remember I said you have a lot of opportunities and things come easy for you, Capricorn, and that people will even approach you with opportunities? That's amazing. Um, today, be confident that your hard work will pay off and you'll feel that satisfaction and fulfillment of reaching your desired outcome. It might turn out better than you expected. Isn't that amazing? Remember, however, much work you're willing to put in, we will match it tenfold on our end. Everyone over here is rooting for you to win the game of life. So just do it. Loving you so, so much. Wow, that's beautiful. There was something in here I saw. It'll turn out much better than you expected. There was something that I said about the illusion of control. And the fact that when you want to control and know everything, the universe can just give you tidbits and not give you the whole thing. So do make sure that you get out of your own way. Because that was kind of the energy that I, I got with that. Um, that things will turn out much better than you expected. Um, but this is your um, your reading, Capricorn, and I will include in the information in the description of the video um, the information if you would like a paid reading or if you would like to make an energy donation. But do check out my other videos as well. Thank you.